Hi there, I'm Sarah J. I'm the owner of La Paella, and I wanted to talk to you very quickly to tell you about saffron and how to buy it. So, when you're making paella, you need saffron, so that's why we sell it on our website. And we have a lot of questions from people about saffron because you might find it in your local supermarket, and it is known to be a very expensive spice. Um, so it's really important to make sure that you're getting the right and good saffron so you're not paying for something um, that isn't really saffron. So this is what it this is what it looks like. Saffron in threads. I always buy, I never get saffron powder because you really have no idea what you're buying. Um, so what is the purpose of the saffron in the paella? It's giving it color and aroma and a little bit of flavor. Um, it's really the color and the aroma and sort of a background note. You're not using a lot of saffron. You don't wanna overpower the dish and make it all about the saffron. It won't taste very good because actually there's a point where when you start to taste the saffron as like a forefront flavor, it's not it's not appealing. It's just sort of this, this background note. It's sort of an underpinning and it's giving that classic sort of yellowish, sort of sunny color, but it shouldn't be yellow, yellow, yellow. If you see a paella that's totally Totally yellow it's not because they've used saffron it's because they've used a just a yellow coloring to get that touristy looking paella really when you when you just use saffron it just has sort of a, a, a gentle a gentle yellowish tint anyway so what what you need to know about saffron is that because it's such an expensive spice by weight there's a market for adulterating the saffron out there and a lot of vendors are selling saffron that is not pure saffron and they don't even know it um, because the market is is rife with um, with adulterators of saffron so what what they can do is they can either use flour that's not the the saffron crocus um, they, they might use a different flour and then dye it red so and maybe they cut that in to some of the saffron so it's not getting a pure um, a pure or may just not be a good quality saffron. So real saffron, you can't, the problem is you can't really know just by looking at it. You'd have to do some tests and the, you can't do that test. So, but you know, you can smell it. It should smell, it should smell like saffron. Um, you might see some yellow uh, threads in there. That's okay. That's not a sign of anything. Actually, it can be an indication that you've got good saffron because part of the crocus flower it has like three little stigmas inside and um, and they have to get pulled out by hand and some of it is yellow and so to me it's not a problem if you're getting saffron and it has no yellow and it's all red pure pure all deep red I don't want to say that that's going to be necessarily um, contaminated or dyed but it would give me pause like it's normal to have a little bit of yellow Really, I think a big giveaway for saffron that isn't absolutely pure is, is the price. Because if you're buying saffron and it's a really, really great price, it's a little bit suspicious because it's a very labor intensive product to, to, to get because every single, they have to pick the flowers by hand and then they have to manually pull out these three stigmas and then they get laid out and then they get uh, sort of gently dried and toasted. So it just, I've been, I've, I've been to the, to the crocus farms and I watched the saffron getting picked and then toasted. And so just know that if you're paying really, really little, it, it might not be totally pure saffron. Our saffron comes from a producer in, in sort of southern Spain in the La Mancha region. And as I say, I've gone there and visited them. I know what they're doing and I have total trust in, their, in the saffron. So I'm very careful about where I get it. Also look for DO saffron, which is Denominación de Origen, which means that it has been approved by a regulatory agency in Spain. Um, uh, and if, it, if you're getting that, it'll have a stamp, it'll have a number on it. We sometimes carry that, but to be honest, it's the exact same saffron that doesn't have the stamp and it costs a lot more because our farmer has to go through the whole process. So he sells them both ways with the DO, which costs more because he had to pay for the whole process, and then the same saffron without the DO, uh, which is a little bit less expensive. So that's, uh, that's just a little bit of information about saffron. Hopefully it's helpful. If you have any questions about saffron or, um, or our saffron, we have it in 10 gram, five gram, one gram, and half gram sizes. Please let us know. You can reach us at payetpants.com and enjoy your cooking. Thank you.